And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mid-range frostbite. We haven't played this deck since Call of the Mountain released. It's going to be our first time at trying it out again. Um, you know, this was a deck, of course, that was really strong beforehand. Uh, they did nerf Trifarian Assessor to kind of hurt this deck a little bit. This may be the first time we've played the deck since Trifarian Assessor switched from four to five mana also. There's one main change that we're going to be doing. I'm going to try out the new card Troll Chant in here. We're going to be playing this over Elixir of Iron, um, where Troll Chant um, does the Elixir of Iron part, but for one more mana, you also get the minus two, minus zero, which could be really important with Culling Strike. Um, and it can also, you know, if there's something two power or less, you can put it down to zero as far as Ash attacking and not allowing something to block. So that's something that could happen as well. It's not going to be as good early in the game against removal that's like killing our Ash or killing something else, like, uh, you know, like a Mega Rain killing a Glory Seeker being that extra mana, uh, where Elixir of Iron was awesome at just one mana, being able to save things. So we'll see how it works, but it's going to be better in the mid and late game, especially when you start getting into combat. Um, it's going to be a lot better there with the minus two as well. So let's give it a try. So let's let's try out this, this deck. Um, We'll see how we do. All right, what do we got? <laughs> I saw the reckoning on their art, and I was like, "Oh, do we got like a mirror match or something?" But no. Leeson with Ezreal. Two champions that were just changed from the last patch. All right, definitely get rid of Harsh Winds. We'll get rid of one Trapper. I don't know. Let's actually maybe keep the Trappers. I know I don't have anything to do turn one or turn two, but I think that's okay. We're playing for a longer game and setting up to deal with a longer game against a deck that's probably going to be defensive as well. So that's a showing where if we had... If, if this was Elixir of Iron, I would have played the Glory Seeker and attacked with Glory Seeker because then we would have had Elixir of Iron for protection. But needing two mana for Troll Chant for protection for my 5-1, I didn't attack right away. All right, so we'll get a couple of yetis. There we go. It's just Saturday morning, and so you know people are doing yard work, and so the dogs are barking. Much. I'm sorry about that. Hot on the trail. I kind of want to... So basically, I didn't use the Troll Chant to save that. I think I want to save like the Yetis and the Avros and Hearth Guards and the cards like that more than saving 3-3s. Three I'm going to let 3-3s three die and save Troll Chants to be able to save the large, larger units. Reckoning seems like it could be really good in this matchup. Many tribes under one banner. It is time. Stand and defend. Just borrow it. I guess I probably I probably should have saved that one with Trifarian Assessor. Yeah, I should have saved that. What is gained when I should have cast Troll Chant there. Trifarian Assessor. Why can't you cost four mana? I need just a moment. Alright, now we have all these in play for the Assessor. Time for a true display of skill. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Alright, we're going to use. Use Brittle Steel. Keeping that thing from doing damage. Let's 
Assuming they're gonna play another spell. Yep. Ooh, and Ezreal's Mystic Shot. So we'll shuffle Ezreal back in. Breathe in, breathe out. I only have. Uh, I don't have enough mana for Reckoning plus Hearth Guard uh, for this game, or for this turn. So we're just going to go to combat. No. No, let's go Ice Spell Archer here. And Hearth Guard. And then attack. Our strength is yours. So being nice and patient. Alright, they are being nice and patient as well. So I don't mind the, the Yone blocking one of these four power things, because because I have the Reckoning. One shot, all skill. I only have seven Puff Caps, so I don't have that many. draw. Few are in the right to call themselves Trifarian. That's such a great draw. What you looking for? I wonder if they have deny for my reckoning. We're gonna find out this would be a good time again for Elixir of Iron to protect my 5-1. Okay, they do have deny for the record for the reckoning, unfortunately. I like just having Coling Strike though, so if something happens and I'm not able to kill Ezreal, we just got Coling Strike for it. Remember me. I'll show you how it's done. Good chance. Like, I, I was definitely thinking about just challenging the Yone instead of even challenging the Ezreal. I think we should have this. This is kind of how I like to play these matchups of just play it, play it slow, get these huge units out here, use Assessor um, to win the games kind of thing. Instead of, you know, instead of being like real aggressive and trying to go underneath them, just trying to go, trying to go big. And you can see that's why I kept the trappers. Give me the enraged yeti. Keep the hearth guard. Keep these things big. So going down to eleven. I don't think they'll have eleven points of burn. I think we can go down to eleven. Just left with the one card. I have five puff caps. Okay. As far as assessor goes, you know, we've got to be a little bit. You know, we got to be thinking about assessor and drawing too many cards with puff caps, but we were fine. So there we go. One and zero. Oh, basically played a big stompy deck. We played our deck like a big stompy deck. There in that matchup. Okay, I'm going to be playing against a macro. Harshwind's going to be a little slow. Will be an important card to have, though. Maybe I want to keep the Harshwinds to go along with the Ash for later. Let's let's actually try it. I already have like my turns two, three, four kind of locked up here. Definitely like drawing that Troll Chant. Nothing like the stink of That's a good one. Sweat. The dead don't need riches. Victory requires a sharp blade. 
There's plenty of killing left. All right, so we're going to be able to ice fill archer a blocker. Not and ready. And force them to block with the glory seeker. Good make it rain. I'll cut them face me. So basically we traded two for two. They traded make it rain and jagged butcher for my troll chant and ice veil archer. So traded two for two, but they gained a mana on us. You'll fight or you'll swim. Hmm. All the world on one arrow. They still have three mana, so they could still kill my Ash. But I don't think I don't play Ash. Let's get to it. Man, I want to play Hearthguard. I want to play Hearthguard this turn, but I guess we just have to have spells. Or maybe we will be able to play Hearthguard this turn. Maybe we will. Grog, if you work, burn if you don't. Our strength is yours. For the Empire. For the glory of Noxus. Down to ten. They don't need riches. Kill that. No backing down. Block here. This is our homeland. Block here. Give this plus two, that minus two. Right now, this is just us taking two. We'll see if they got fervors or anything like that. So that's three for Ash. Ash attack is going to be four. Brittle Steel is going to be five. Now you cry. So they can't block. They got to either have six points of burn to kill me, so like double Nocturne Fervor kills me, or they got to kill two things. So I mean, I guess it's probably you know like double Nocturne Fervor or bust for them. I mean, I guess they could have something that does one and something that does two. Nope, there we go. All right, GGs. Now begins a new era of peace. Sure, Gohan, what do you got? All right, playing against Lucian, Misfortune, Scouts. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to keep the Reckoning. This card can be a huge blowout has a lot of potential. Hopefully we can stay alive enough. The opponent does have the attack token on the first turn. Which isn't great, which means they probably are going to have a turn one attack and a turn three attack before, like if they go right to combat before I play any units. Hawk, how I have missed you. It's been a while since we played Omen Hawk and Sejuani. These cards. Push back the darkness. Omen Hawk is a great one. Yes, yeah, go ahead, Gohan. I won't do like a, a full deck tech review and stuff. I'll just take a look at it. Go ahead and just drop it. Alright, 
All right, misfortune. That's a good one. Yep. That's a good one. Doesn't really matter. It's just gonna die to the love tap anyway. So I'm gonna save the three life. You know, we just want to save life and try to get reckoning on line. So best case scenario is we draw Enraged Yeti now. Okay, never mind. That's actually a pretty good case scenario as well. So I can go Trapper. I can Culling Strike one of these. I'm through waiting. I'll write my own story. Which I think would be misfortune. Hell of a day. And my plan is to play Avros and Hearthguard next turn, and then reckoning the turn after with the Hearthguard. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Many tribes under one banner. So Lucian's at two. I suppose. Pretty close to leveling up. Here we go. No room for doubt. Do they have repost? Okay, I was gonna say what Do they have repost? Yeah, it's gotta be repost, right? I don't think I have a better option, though. I, I don't think just not blocking is a good option. Because Repose would blow up Reckoning anyway. So we'll just do that block. We'll have... Uh, I guess we're going to be going with Sejuani now. From the savage cold. Looking for trouble? It found you. Attack. So that levels up Lucian, so they have another Lucian. This one, you know, will be leveled up. So Gohan in your deck, I don't think Kempunk Shredder really fits. Push back the darkness. I sure hope this works. We could have another repost. We could have Concer Concerted Strike would be game over. Alright. Reckoning is game over on phone though. GG. All right, what do we got? Okay, kind of similar deck, Misfortune again. Um, you can see why I kept Reckoning at that last game, because it can just be a huge blowout like that. Uh, all right, so we got Sentry and then Trapper. All right, Glory Seeker. Yeah, we're going to keep Glory Seeker, actually. Hope they don't have a Make It Rain. We're not playing Glory Seeker early. This is going to be like a, you know, turn four, turn five, turn six, turn seven, something like that, that we get to play this with other stuff. And... Um, you know, maybe play this with some yetis, get a lot of power and play one turn, and try to kill a misfortune or a gangplank. They were on the trigger. Nothing escapes my watch. That's what the glory seeker is going to be for. The trap is set. All right, the trap is set. Stole the Russians, shackle the prisoners. Hmm. Yes, the Leona stun does count for Ezreal, yes. No one's the wiser. Took the bait. Looking for trouble. It's Man, good hand. You. Good hand. It didn't do anything on turn two. Okay. Um Ready the torches. Alright, so if we block, block, block. 
we can... Go... Plus two, minus two. And we keep both of our... I can keep both of our trappers alive. Alert the villains. Damn it. Who can it be? Enraged Yeti time. It's gonna be a good turn for us with both Enraged Yetis and Glory Seeker. Good turn. Say your farewells. Um, no, I think I I would prefer the Taric support probably over the Leona stuff to go sense. along with Ezreal. Remember me. Ah, they walked around. Run while you can. So if I play Assessor next turn, it's a draw two. See what they do. Who's ready for the show? Gosh, I wish I could double spell. Why can't Assessor be four mana? <laughs> this would be a lot better at four where I could frostbite this thing first. Many tribes under one banner. Okay, good. Lock the doors. Only the finest serve. Cool, cool. Winter take you. Hopefully, I don't have enough Nexus damage because it does kind of seem like they're going to need the Nexus damage to kill us. Like, if I challenge with a 3-1, they definitely just, um, you know, have the 2-2 two -two block the 5-2. Ow. So that's 3 damage. Down to 5. Or down to seven. Sorry, basically down to five because the Jack, the winner. Um, yeah, I need like I need a calling strike. Ooh, perfect. Perfect calling strike. Soon they're going with the sleep with the fishes, but maybe they don't. I couldn't just like pass priority to them because if they just go to the next turn, right? Like I couldn't just pass. I promise the blood boss. All the world on one arrow. I don't know. And like, like a fish in I don't know. Maybe I should have just played Ash the previous turn. Okay, so they can uh, block with one thing. So that's going to frostbite the 5 1. This we're going to give. You know, this thing plus 0 plus 2. And that minus 2 minus 0. So that will be 0 power. And now that's 0 power. So the only thing they can block is the spray fin. I don't think they can kill us, right? Like, I, like even double Noxion Fervor, like, they can't play any of these slow speed. There we go. GG's. Now begins a new era of peace. Control 
All right, playing against a big deck now. Trundle and a Trindomir. Trundlemere, if you will. Ooh, really like the Glory Seeker. That card is good against the O4s. Um, not so good against Vile Feast and Avalanche, though. But definitely love Hearthguard, right? Like, we want Hearthguard. And then after Hearthguard, we want to start drawing Trefarian Assessors. Um. There we go. Uh. I guess I haven't really been that impressed with Leona, with just, like, stunning some things with Leona. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. So I was worried about playing Glory Seeker and then they just play Vile Feast. I was worried about that. So if I attack for seven, then they get to ramp afterwards. I don't think I let them ramp. It is seven damage. That is a lot of damage. Yeah, so they're going to do that after. And now they don't get to. Our strength is yours. Not really worried about a trundle. King of trolls coming through. Today we face me. King. It's a good way to deal with Trundle. And see, they're just a little bit slower with me not getting that early attack in. Whoa. Can't quite kill them. I'm down to one. And what are the chances they have another ruination? Probably not that great, right? Probably not that good of chances for another ruination. I guess if I play another attacker, they just play Ice Pillar. And so that just cancels out that attacker. No, because then I have Culling Strike for the Ice Pillar. Probably not a great chance they have another Ruination. I sure hope not. I wish I could also keep Troll Chant to protect the Glory Seeker. These are troll Alright, well now I can. I don't have to play Culling Strike anymore. Because they didn't play Ice Pillar first. Don't think one mana will kill Glory Seeker. So this should be game now. There we go. GG's. Awesome. Well, I'm glad they didn't play the 08 that last turn. And just start with that. So that, um, yeah, that we got a, a 5 0. All right, yeah, Troll Chant looked good. Got to use Troll Chant to help get through a lethal attack, and it, and it just you know helped to keep other things alive. So yeah, I definitely like that Troll Chant. Um, besides that, nothing too special about the deck. You know, got to Reckoning against Scouts. There are a lot of Scouts running around. I have to say that I was impressed that we won both of those matchups against the Aggro that we played against. You know, like Misfortune Gangplank decks. I think twice, at least once. I think twice. And we were able to hold our own in those. We had some pretty good hands with Ice Veil Archer, Glory Seeker. These cards are still good. Yeah, I mean, everything worked out pretty well. Even though Assessor was five mana, it's still awesome. Um, would have been better at four a couple of times, but it was still good enough. Um, so, yeah, I think Troll Chan was a big, a big upgrade here. And, 
And besides that, everything worked pretty well. Yeah, I agree, Mafia Plot. Not letting them ramp that one turn did, probably does make all the difference. I think that that's something that, that I've been doing a lot more recently and that I kind of recommend against the, the Trundle ramp deck. They Because with the turn three, they haven't played anything yet. You have the attack token. They pass priority because they want you to attack. Either you have like a challenger, like that Glory Seeker in play. They want you to attack, so that, then they can drop the 0-4. Or they're just going to play the Catalyst of Aeons afterwards and gain the life. And just not letting them do that and just passing. I'm um, sure you miss out on some damage, but slowing them down a turn is worth it. Missing out on that damage. So that's something to, to keep in mind when playing against that deck. Um, yeah. Which, of course, they can just ramp first. But, you know, if they ramp first and they're not gaining the three life from their their card. And so a lot of people are um, pretty greedy and try to take the try to take the damage from the attack first. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Midrange Frostbite. Looks like this deck has not gone anywhere. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you've been playing this deck this whole time, let me know in the comments. How's it been going for you? Um, you know, how, how has this deck looked? But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.